metastasis is the word used to describe a cluster of cancer cells in one area that arose from a cancer in another region of the body. Cancer that has spread in this way is called metastatic cancer. Metastatic cancer is named based on the site where the cancer began. Metastasis occurs by the following three routes. Transcolomic, lymphatic spread and hematogenous spread. The model in this video details the hematogenous or lymphatic route of metastasis. You can see the blood vessels in this view, that is, the artery and the vein. The veins have a thinner wall and a thin basement membrane as compared to an arterial wall, making venous damage the commonest mode of hematogenous spread. Now, you see the epithelial basement membrane, which is the limiting structure defining whether the epithelial tumor is invasive or non-invasive. The epithelial tumor, as seen here, is a mass of abnormal cells well vascularized with arteries and its branches. Some of these abnormal cells develop the special ability to invade the basement membrane. This is the first step of metastasis. The transformed cell then migrate within the tissue to the venules or lymphatic channels. In the second step of metastasis, the transformed malignant cell penetrate or invis intravasate into the vascular spaces or lymphatic spaces. During intravasation, the tumor cells invade across the basement membrane of the capillary or lymphatic channels. The intravasated neoplastic cells, now in the third step of metastasis, are ready for their systemic dispersal to all tissues of the body and their success in metastasis requires that they survive the immune defense system formed by the lymphoid cells. To invade the various defense and damaging events in the stage of vascular or lymphatic, transport the cells form tumor eboli made of neoplastic cells, platelets and fibrin. In the fourth step, the neoplastic cells that survive the hostile environments during transportation then arrest in, in the capillary or lymphatic beds of distant organs or lymph nodes and engage in a second round of invasion, a extravasation, whereby neoplastic cells exit from the luminal spaces into the surrounding stromal or lymphoid tissue. The fifth step is concerned with the progression of the colonizing tumor cells or micrometastasis to replicate in this new environment. Their neovascularization and progressive enlargement of the tumors that will threaten the survival of the host. When the basement is intact, that is called carcinoma in situ. But when basement is not intact, that is invasive carcinoma. 